Academy panel. This is Devendra Sijala from Hindi Vidyalaya Rajkot. In today's video, we shall start the second part of chapter, The Little Bully. Dear students, if you have not watched our first part by clicking on the link over here, you can watch part one. Now let us move on to the question answers of this chapter. Reading is fun. Now that you have read and understood the lesson, can you answer these questions? You can put a tick mark on the right answer. See, now uh, we have to choose the correct answer from these three options. One, why did all the children eat hurry? Because he would not talk to anyone. Second option, because he always pinched them, pinched them because he loved stealing their food. Then the correct answer is b because he always pinched them second question nobody took hurry's hand nobody went near him nobody played with him this shows that hurry had one is many friends second is few friends third is no friend of course no friends is the correct answer on to the next Third one, which of the following actions would make a friendly person? Write them down. See, these are the actions, some of the actions. Uh, how many of you would like to perform uh, these actions uh, to make a friendly person? Now we will read it out. What are the actions? Respecting others. Of course, this you should do because by doing this, you can attract people. And you can make them friends. This is correct. That means we have to do this thing. See, the things which we will not do, we will put a cross mark over there. Eating a small child's tiffin. Definitely, no, you should not eat uh, any tiffin of any other child. Of course, you can share uh, tiffins, but you should not eat it. So this is wrong. Calling people rude name. Of course, this should not be done. So, cross mark. Pushing a smaller boy and making him cry. So, this activity also you should avoid. So, cross mark. Being helpful to everyone. Of course, this is the best thing that you can be friendly to anyone. You should help uh, those who require it or those who in need. So, this is tick. Helping your classmates in school. Of course, you should. Uh, share and care for your classmates. You should help them. So this is also right. Mocking at friends and hurting their feelings. कुछ लोग जो है मतलब mimicry करते हैं किसी और लोगों की उसको चिढ़ाते हैं ये सब करते हैं. So this should not be done. So we'll put a cross mark here. Protecting a weaker person. Of course, this is the most uh, mostly used by the people. You can protect if you are strong, then uh, you should protect. The weaker person, this you should do. Now we will write this down one, two, three, and four in a page. So we have written it actions which would make a friendly person. One is respecting other people, being helpful to everyone, helping your classmates in school, protecting a weaker person. So this should be done. Now come to the second part that is vocabulary. One, find out words which are opposites or are closest to being opposites of the words given below then write the write down the opposites in the grid See, this is down so these are we have to write the opposites or closest uh, closest to being the opposites of these words in this uh, uh, word in this puzzle so now what we have to do First of all, you can see this is one and this is one. So this is the opposite of smile. So we have to find out the opposite of smile. Actually, this is a new word for you. So you should search it from the dictionary. And the opposite of smile is scowl. Scowl means angry. This is closest opposite. Angry. Smile means uh, you are in a good mood. And scowl means it is angry. So we'll write it here. CW, scowl, then second, happy, happy opposite of happy is 
this is m s r e so it is easily uh, understood that it is miserable so we'll write it here miserable third one is quiet this is noisy quiet means shant noisy means bahut zyada awaz wala quiet that is noisy punish this is fifth uh, fourth one is strong this is weak so strong is opposite of weak okay strong is opposite of weak punish this is e w a that is reward opposite of punish is reward so we'll write it here like this let's look at the second hari was pink till he was black and blue black and blue means option 1 hari fell down in pain there was bruises on his body hari painted himself in colors hari had black and blue shirt now uh, you can also tell me the right answer if you know you can type the option in the chat box right answer is there were there were bruises on his body third one i shan't pinch anyone any more shan't means this is a short form of shall and not so we will write shan't that is shall not shall should shall not will not so shall not will be the correct answer for that now uh, fourth one give the full forms of want weren't wouldn't and couldn't now see these are the uh, uh, short forms of various things so we'll discuss it want would be uh, want will be short form of will not weren't will be were not wouldn't is of would not couldn't is of could not see these are very easy because of, uh, being a english medium students uh, this is not tough for you okay is there are many more now up to the next one a girl was sitting quietly beside him hurry leaped to his feet crying loudly the words here quietly and loudly tell us how the action is being done see now whenever there is a ly word so we can say that how the actions is being done wo kaise ho rahi hai continue hai so ly words hame uski information dete hai now we have to find out five more words ending with l ly which denote how something is done so if you know any one uh, word ending with ly you can type it in the chat box badly certainly safely surely definitely so these all are see ab we will remove this ly because we have already placed ly over here there is no need to write ly two times now add ly to the following words clear clearly merry merrily then this word is weary see what is mean meaning of weary weary means extremely tired this is double doubly this is dreary the meaning of dreary is dull drowsy so it is dreary and dreary ly bright brightly bad badly fond fondly so these are the words with ly now what we have to do now uh, can you make sentences with these words see if if you want to make sentences of any words for us it is must to know the meaning of that particular word suppose here we can see that the two words are a new for us that is this one weary and this dreary these two two words are new for us so we have to know the meaning of these two words to make a sentences to form sentences now let us make a sentence for the first one clear clearly that boy cannot speak clearly here we have used this word clearly clear clearly that boy cannot speak clearly marry then a word with ly that is merrily children celebrated the occasion merrily see here one thing you need to keep in mind whenever there is a word ending with y 
whenever there is a word ending with y you have to convert this y into i so we will remove y and we will plus i here and then we will add ly so this is merrily you can say the y is removed in the spelling so this is merrily come to the next word weary see again this is the word with y ending with y so we will remove this y and in place of this y we will add i this is wearily i felt wearily in the evening see wearily means extremely tired very tired of something so i felt wearily in the evening sham ke samay mujhe jo hai bahut zyada thakavat lag rahi thi double doubly see here again one thing you can see that e is removed e is removed and we have added only y doubly in africa women and girls have been doubly disadvantaged okay yeah, this is a, 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 a tough statement for you africa mein ladkiya ek to ladkiya aur aurat dono ke liye jo hai doubly disadvantaged hota hai will not go in deep with it but we'll just keep in mind this doubly word now dreary dreary lee now here we can see again this y is converted to i and added ly his behavior has been dreary predictable now here meaning of dreary means dull so matlab unka jo hai wo jo behavior hota hai wo dull hota hai usko hum log predict kar sakte hai bright brightly the sun shone brightly this is a, this word is taken from the lesson bad badly he spoke to me badly this is a simple sentence fond fondly my mother touched me fondly yes now come to the fun with sounds let's practice with e and f see the, the words here we can see with the p e and f p e and f so we will practice it you you will repeat it after me pleased tricked pinched punished fat fruit fell forgotten palm pair proud parade farm fair frown fish now if you can see this this palm and farm they are rhyming word pair and fair again rhyming word okay so these kind of words are there now uh, what is it complete the blanks with the rhyming words of the following and practice aloud now we have to write the rhyming words for these bruise cruise then carriage marriage prawn prawns drawn creatures feature teachers preachers now what is meaning of preacher can anyone uh, tell me the uh, meaning of this preacher is yes the meaning of preacher is one who preach religious the teacher who is teaching religion is known as preachers okay now here one more more word uh, frown i forgot to tell the meaning of this frown frown means a displeasure or dis disapproval okay, agar aap se khush nahi hai usko frown kehte hain cold it is cold 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 like this you have to write let's practice some writing how did the seaside creature the crab the lobster etc teach hari a lesson write in a few lines see by if you want to answer this one you can surely refer a chapter now i have done for it you the seaside creature pinched hari one by one they kept on pinching till he turned black and blue and cried in pain afterwards hari realized how it hurts when someone is pinched he took a vow not to pinch children any more ab hari ne matlab jo hai wo usko kis tarah se परेशान किया उन सब लोगों ने मिलकर तो उसका यहां पर जो है लिखा हुआ है यस नाउ रीड दिस सेंटेंसेस केयरफुली आई एट एन एप्पल 
a boy is standing under the tree see this boy is standing under the tree the picture is not clear but it is standing and he is standing under the tree the sun rises in the east a and an do not point out any definite or particular person or a thing whereas the is used when we speak of something particular or a thing now see a or n ka use kab hota hai aur the ka use kab hota hai see actually a and n are indefinite articles kyunki wo koi cheez jo hai definite cheez ko point out nahi karta hai a book means kaun si book koi bhi book ho sakti hai a table kaun sa table koi bhi table ho sakta hai a hotel kaun sa hotel koi bhi hotel ho sakta hai an apple kaun sa apple koi bhi apple ho sakta hai an elephant kaun sa elephant koi bhi elephant ho sakta hai so like this means it is not a definite and the means the is used for something particular like the sun which sun ek hi sun hai jo dikhta hai the moon kaun sa moon jo raat ko dikhta hai the earth kaun sa earth the india ek hi india hai pure world mein so jo particular ya definite things hoti hai uske liye hum log kya use karte hai the use karte hai now here a and and the are called articles we all know that a n and the ye jo teen word hai inko articles kaha jata hai a and n is definite article whereas the is sorry a and n is indefinite article whereas the is definite articles remember n is used before words beginning with a vowel A E I O U N का यूज कब करते हैं हम लोग जब भी कोई वर्ड का साउंड जो है वॉवेल साउंड यहाँ पर नहीं लिखा है वॉवेल साउंड एक्चुअली द करेक्ट वर्ड इज हियर विथ अ वॉवेल साउंड वॉवेल नहीं है विथ अ वॉवेल साउंड सपोज यूनिवर्सिटी अगर हम लोग लिखते हैं तो यूनिवर्सिटी में एन नहीं आएगा अ आएगा या तो ध आएगा है ना अगर कोई पर्टिकुलर यूनिवर्सिटी है अ यूनिवर्सिटी आएगा हालांकि इसमें यू क्योंकि यूनिवर्सिटी जब लिखते हैं तो उसका जो वॉवल साउंड नहीं है वो कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड है तो कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड के लिए हमें ए यूज करना है सो so, यहाँ पर ये लिखना है हमें कि जो वॉवल साउंड होता है उसके लिए हम लोग क्या यूज करेंगे एन यूज करेंगे नाउ लेट एस फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स विथ एप्रोप्रिएट आर्टिकल्स हरी वॉस डैश unpopular boy an unpopular boy because u is a vowel sound so we'll write n the boys and girls went to dash seaside for a picnic the seaside see yahan par the seaside kyun seaside ek to hai nahi lekin kaun si seaside jahan par wo bacche gaye hai wo wali seaside ka yahan par zikr kiya gaya hai that is why we will use the over here he saw डैश बिग क्रैप कमिंग टूवर्ड्स हिम एक ही होगा है ना वन अ बिग क्रैप बी जो है वो क्या है कॉन्सनेंट साउंड है इसके लिए तो हम लोग यहां पर क्या यूज करेंगे ए आई फाउंड डैश एम टी बॉटल फ्लोटिंग इन द वॉटर एन एम टी बॉटल फ्लोटिंग इन द वॉटर बिकॉज ई इज दिस वर्ड इज स्टार्टिंग स्टार्टिंग विथ वोवल साउंड विल राइट एन डैश सी क्रिएचर्स एट हिज फूड द सी क्रिएचर्स जो सी पर वो लोग गए है वो वाले सी के ही क्रिएचर मीन्स वो सी पर्टिकुलर है यहाँ पर कोई भी जब चीज जब बार बार दोहराई जा रही है रिपीट की जा रही है एट दैट टाइम वी कैन यूज द वन मोर थिंग यू शुड कीप इन माइंड सी ए एंड ए ए और एन का यूज तभी होता है जब कोई चीज सिंगुलर होती है प्लूरल के लिए अ बुक्स कभी नहीं होगा अब बुक ही होगा एन एप्पल्स कभी नहीं होगा एन एप्पल ही होगा यानी ये जो ए और एन है वो सिर्फ जो है सिंगुलर जो नेम्स होते हैं उन्हीं के लिए हम लोग यूज करेंगे लेकिन ध जो है दैट वी विल यूज फॉर बोथ सिंगुलर के लिए भी यूज कर सकते हैं और प्लूरल्स के लिए भी यूज कर सकते हैं हम लोग कह सकते हैं दी सी इज अ सिंगुलर सो हम लोग कह सकते हैं कोई दिक्कत नहीं है उसको द ओशन ओशन इज अगुलर द ओशन ऑल्सो हम लोग उसको कह सकते हैं क्योंकि दोनों के लिए ये ध जो यूज होता है ओके आई होप यू गॉट द आंसर्स फॉर दिस वन क्रैब हैज अ हार्ड शेल वेर एज अ फ्रॉग डज नॉट है क्रैब होता है उसको ऊपर का जो शेल होता है ना वो हार्ड होता है लेकिन फ्रॉग का ऊपर का जो स्किन होता है ना वो हार्ड नहीं होता है देर आर मेनी एनिमल्स दैट प्रोटेक्ट दैम सेल्व फ्रॉम 
their enemies with their outer cover shells or quills सारे एनिमल्स का आउटर कवर से अपने आप को बचाते हैं उसका शेल्स होता है ये ये देखो ये शेल शेल है क्वील्स क्वील्स भी हम लोग देखेंगे कुछ एनिमल्स के क्वील्स मतलब कुछ कांटे वगैरह रहते हैं तो बचाते हैं दूसरे एनिमल से अपनी जान बचाते हैं इन द बॉक्स गिवन बिलो आर नेम्स ऑफ सम एनिमल्स एनसर्कल द वंस दैट कैन प्रोटेक्ट देमसेल्फ्स विद देयर हार्ड कवर हम लोग देख सकते हैं ये जो है एनिमल्स दिए हुए हैं यहां पर तो कुछ एनिमल्स ऐसे हैं तो उनको प्रोटेक्ट करते तो देखते क्रोकोडाइल क्रोकोडाइल का कवर हार्ड रहता है ऑफ कोर्स हार्ड रहता है सो वी विल एनसर्कल इट क्रोकोडाइल टर्टल ऑफ कोर्स टर्टल का जो है वो भी क्या कवर क्या रहता है हार्ड रहता है स्नेल का जो है वो भी ऊपर का जो ये शेल है वो हार्ड रहता है टफ रहता है ठीक है टर्टल टॉटस टॉटस का भी जो है सी इन दिस लेक्चर वी आल्सो गोइंग टू सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टर्टल एंड टॉटस This is tortoise. So tortoise का भी जो है ऊपर का कवर क्या रहता है टफ रहता है हार्ड रहता है देन हेज हॉग सी हेज वॉग एंड पॉर्क्यूपाइन विल सी द पिक्चर फॉर हेज हॉग एंड पॉर्क्यूपाइन सी दिस इज हेज हॉग यू कैन सी दिस इज पॉर्क्यूपाइन सी दीज आर द्विल्स दीज आर द्विल्स ये क्या करते हैं पता है कि जब देखो इसके ऊपर चीता वगैरह आ जाता है ना हमला करने के लिए तो ये जो अपने ये कहते हैं क्या बोलते हैं इसको क्विल्स बोलते हैं ये खड़े कर देते हैं कांटे खड़े कर देते हैं अगर इसको कोई छूने की कोशिश करता है तो उनके हाथों में चुभ जाते हैं और इनमें जहर रहता है तो ये थोड़ा बहुत दर्द करता है ये उनको है ना तो ये सारी चीजें नुकसान करती है तो इसलिए ये अपनी जान बचा पाते हैं तो हाँ जब नॉर्मल हो जाएंगे तो ये आपको लगेंगे नहीं आप इनको उठा सकते हैं नव दीज एनिमल्स डो नॉट हैव हार्ड शेल्स और कवर्स लिजार्ड स्नेक गोरिल्ला एंड फ्रॉक Now, now paste or draw the picture of any one animal. Write five lines about it. See, you have to put, uh, draw. You have to paste a picture of any animal of your choice, and you have to write five lines about that particular animal. This you have to do it. Do it by yourself. Yes. Now, can you tell the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? Write a few lines. Now we will find out the difference. See, this is a difference. This is turtle. This is taught us. Okay, now we'll find out the difference. See, flipper boy. See, you, you can if you observe the legs of this turtle and leg of this tortoise, you can see. ये flipper है. That means it is useful in swimming in water. ये वाले जो ऐसे वाले पांव होते हैं, chunky foot. वो कहाँ पर होते हैं? Land के ऊपर. यानी ये पानी में ज़्यादा रहता है. ये land के ऊपर ज़्यादा रहता है. Second, flat, streamlined. शेल ये जो अपर शेल होता है आप इसका देख सकते हो ये जो उसका शेल होता है ये क्या होता है फ्लैट होता है और स्ट्रीम लाइन होता है जबकि इसका क्या होता है डोम शेप यानी ऐसा वाला शेप रहता है ऐसा डोम जैसा शेप रहता है इसका थर्ड वन टर्टल टर्टली इन द सी ज्यादातर ये अपना समय जो है वो सी के अंदर ही बिताते हैं और लिव्स मेनली ऑन लैंड लेकिन जो टॉटस होते हैं वो अपना ज्यादातर समय जमीन के ऊपर बिताते हैं दिस वन ईट्स बोथ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल सी दिस इज अ ये जो है ओमनी है मतलब ये दोनों चीजें खाता है नॉनवेज भी खाता है और वेज भी खाता है दोनों चीजें खाता है जबकि टॉटस होता है वेजी इज लव एंड वेजी इज लाइफ हंड्रेड परसेंट वेजिटेरियन होता है वन मोर थिंग नॉट ऑल टर्टल्स आर टॉटसिस बट All tortoises are turtles, है ना हालांकि ये बहुत डीप में है साइंस का टॉपिक इसको हम लोग यहाँ पर डिस्कस नहीं करेंगे बस आप ये जो है वन टू थ्री फोर फोर डिफरेंसेस इनफ है दोनों के लिए यू कैन राइट इट इन दोटबुक कम टू द नेक्स्ट फाइव डिस्क्राइब वॉट इज है इन द पिक्चर यूज ईज और आर एंड आई एन जी इन In and ing to make your sentences, clues are given in the box. See, these are the clues: swing, sit, climb, lick, slide, kick. See, these are the clues, and this is a picture. So we have to use uh, is or are with ing. Now let us do it. For example, Krishna is singing. So Krishna will use I here, and swinging means with swing we will use the ing form of a verb. Now Mary, where is Mary? Mary is climbing. She she is climbing, the climbing up the slide. So we have used I with ing. Now hurry. 
is kicking. Uh, see, in this picture, you cannot see that Hari is kicking, but in, in your textbook, you can see it. Hari is kicking and boxing her whom to marry. Little Bittu, this is Bittu, is licking a lollipop. You can see he is licking a lollipop. Rita is sliding down. Rita is sliding down the slide. Gee, this is Rita. Okay. Now, imagine what the children will do in the playground tomorrow. You can take some hints from the words given in the box. Sample. John will play Kabaddi tomorrow. Now see, Kal Bacche Jo Kya Karne Wala Hai, that means we will write the sentences in a future, future tense. So, will means Kal Kya Karne Wala Hai, John will play Kabaddi tomorrow. Manan will play football tomorrow. So, like that, this we, will, we have to uh, write it in our notebook. John will play Kabaddi tomorrow. Sanju will play football. Ranjana will jump. Kaushal and Prerana will take part in dress. Sanjana will play badminton. Amit and Sanjay will run. Means whenever we want to see, we want to tell something that tomorrow this thing will happen, we'll use will and shall for that. Come to the last one. Uh, let's be creative and talk. Work in groups of four. See the picture of shipwreck at the bottom of the ocean. What is the meaning of? Shipwreck, it is destruction of the ship. Suppose you went deep sea diving, what would you find? See, Think of all the words that come to your mind, then build. Paragraph, share your story with others. This you have to do. Now, what book they clete upko kalikna hai is me. तो यहां पर जो है आपको ये पूरा पेज लिखना है ये दोनों ड्राइंग आप काट देना इसको बनाने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है नाउ कम टू द सेकंड इसको पूरा जो है आपको पूरा लिखना है ये है ना इसके आंसर्स के साथ ये वाली ड्राइंग ये काट देंगे इसको लिखने की कोई जरूरत है नहीं है ये वाला जो है वो भी आप लोग पूरा ही लिखेंगे है ना कम टू द नेक्स्ट वोकैबुलरी ये वाली ड्राइंग छोड़ देंगे दिस वन आल्सो यू विल लीव एंड यू विल राइट दिस फुल वोकैबुलरी ये पूरा जो है ड्राइंग ये भी बनाना है आपको और इसके ऑपोजिट वर्ड्स ये सब लिखने हैं आपको ये सारा लिखना है ओके देन कम टू द नेक्स्ट ये वाला पूरा लिखना है ये वाला भी पूरा लिखना है आपको देन ये फोर पूरा पेज आपको लिखना है ये सारी चीजें आप लिखेंगे अपनी नोटबुक में हां हो गया ये वाला हो गया ये वाला ये वाला भी आप लोग जो है पूरा पेज लिखेंगे अपनी नोटबुक में यस yes. ये वाला फन विद नंबर्स भी पूरा पेज आप लिखेंगे अपनी नोटबुक में दिस वन लेट्स प्रैक्टिस हम राइटिंग ये वाला भी पूरा लिखेंगे आप अपनी नोटबुक में दिस वन आल्सो द फुल ये ड्राइंग को छोड़ दीजिए इसको लिखने की जरूरत है ड्रॉ करने की जरूरत नहीं है बाकी सारी चीजें जो है आपको पूरा लिखना है ये पूरा पेज लिखना है ये वाला भी आप पूरा लिखेंगे ठीक है ना हां ये पूरा आपको लिखना है ये जो ड्राइंग है उसको अवॉइड कर दीजिए कोई जरूरत नहीं है इनका बाकी ये पूरा लिखना है और ये वाला भी आपको खुद को ही करना है यहां पर कोई पिक्चर पेस्ट करके आपको उसके बारे में फाइव सेंटेंसेस लिखने हैं फाइव लाइंस लिखनी है और ये वाला भी लिखना है आप इसको अच्छे से वो डिफरेंस कर दीजिए और ये वाले पिक्चर से उसके डिफरेंस दोनों में चार-चार डिफरेंस लिख लीजिए आपका हो जाएगा आफ्टर दैट दिस फिफ्थ वन आल्सो यू हैव टू राइट फुल इसके ये ड्राइंग बनाने की जरूरत है इसको काट दीजिए कोई जरूरत है नहीं ये ड्राइंग भी काट दीजिए कोई जरूरत नहीं हां ये वाला पूरा लिखेंगे हम लोग दिस वन लाइक दिस या फिर ये वाला भी हम लोग पूरा लिखेंगे ओके ये वाला जो है हम पूरा पेज हम लोग लिखेंगे आपको लिखना है और ये वाली एक्टिविटी है इसको हम लोग नहीं करेंगे इसको हम लोग छोड़ देंगे आई होप दैट यू हैव एंजॉयड दिस लेसन थैंक यू सो मच प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर विद इट योर फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू सो मच